We haven't had a perfect ride yet. Watch this DL. Drops in late. Oh, just under the lip. Super late, super deep. Spits and he comes out way after the spit. Look at Owens. Free file drop, standing tall. <laughs> Owens gonna get the best wave in the heat for sure. Perfectly deep. Unbelievable ride for Owen Wright. One of those waves you just dream of. A 10 point ride. Welcome to paradise. The channel is already fired up for one of the craziest left-handers in the world. We are literally at the venue where some of the greatest rides in the history of our sport have taken place. It's the heaviest, most critical wave in the world. That was gnarly. A place that defines what is rideable on a surfboard. Oh. This is the Tahiti Pro Chopu. Kuiper Girl along with 1988 world champ Martinich for the call. Jeremy Flores on the replay. <laughs> And the 2015 champ out here at Tahiti shows why. He's a, one of the masters of this break. It's just gonna happen again for Connor. Wow, look at this thing, you guys. Looks like it's gonna drain out beautifully on the reef. Holds the body perfectly. Riding that foam ball comes out. That's the way you do it right there, Connor Coffin. And this is what he just turned in. So this wave, we're still waiting for the score. Wow, really deep again. He's had uh, four amazing barrels out here in the last 20 minutes so the waves absolutely pumping right now one judge even dropped a 10. he now a bigger set setting up for owen wright this thing going inside out behind him owen has to celebrate look at these waves right now it doesn't do it any justice i'm just sorry it doesn't do it justice on the tv like the way these waves come in and the way you gotta hold your position and like, look at this. Just, oh, yeah, grip. You guys are putting their lives on the line. And that was some next level surfing right there. Really technical underneath it. He was so late. That is beyond committed. Look at that. So he's just scratching to get down the face. Basically trying to get down a river rapid. And meanwhile, he's got this 12 foot slab of the Pacific Ocean behind him. That was an extreme barrel there, Joe. An event that he wants to win so badly. Locking in Michelle Perez. Wow. In the belly of the beast. Oh. And he's got to feel like a superhero after surviving that one. Gave it way more juice. Oh, here's Griff. Oh, that's it right there. Oh, yeah. That was it. <laughs> he is stoked. You've seen in Tahiti from Connor Coffin. The belly is live. And Kyle <laughs> comes through that section, answering back to Connor Coffin. Although they're different heats, the scale, the opportunity to compare between heats. Here we go, another one. Oh, Connor Coffin on a thick <laughs> one. Oh, my goodness. Coffin did lose his priority over Kyle Belly, who utilized that priority, pulls into this narrow channel view. Press through that section, comes out again, feeling good about that ride. Again, 8.4 is his requirement. We'll see what the judges have to say about that. For the surfer from Santa Barbara, and here he is scratching into another big one at Chopo. Adjusts the rail, grabs the rail, and comes out again straight into the flotilla. If you see this, yeah, oh, wait, yeah. you can't see it right now, but that was that was uh, all Julian yeah. Hill. Like he put himself there. How he was, easy deep, he was the deepest. You know how easy it if, is to if, paddle towards a channel. He see how he's in and deepest. There. See how he's in and deep. It's, and it was because he had to look at Jordy's wave to make sure he was going to go. Yeah, but my point is, is, he had a good 20 seconds to paddle towards the channel, and he did not. Jaw-dropping performances. Go, son. Go. Wilson. Oh, yes. What a ride for awesome. Wilson. A 9.4. A series of nine-point rides. Michelle Perez ooh, threads through that section and just squeezed out of that one. Compressed on the bottom, hit his, his foot into a kind of a, a a hole and kind of twisted his knee a little bit, he said. He was checking on the way back out, but he just got another wave. He looked pretty solid. Didn't look like it was affecting him, and he's going to shake it off. Thank you, Strider, as we check out a replay of that 9.23. Oh. And Medina <laughs> vaulting over Strider Wazalewski. More action, Kites. Medina showing the control and experience. 
he opened up BL with a 9.23. Jordi, super, he must have swung at the last minute. That was a gift from Adriano. Uh, and, and I feel like that was a serious mistake by Adriano, but look how late Jordi is. What control from Jordi Smith. As we see the spit and coming from behind it is Jordy Smith starting to feel it now. The judges award Smith a 9.23. Kyle Bide, he was explaining to me how he felt on the phone ball. He said he was just flying over it and he had this big grin on his face. Super deep, definitely the deepest growl we've seen in this heat so far. So, I mean, from the channel, we were giving it to him in the score, but those guys up in the tower, they got a good view from straight on. We'll see what they come up with. But that was an incredible barrel by Adriano. And a massive buzzer beater finish to highlight the day. The Souls of the comeback. Spitz, Yo! the Souls is out. He just had the heat of a lifetime. You see right there, he actually had to take a super um, horizontal line there because he was pretty deep. So you could see him angling towards the channel, pull up on, on the rail. rail. Yeah, he, you know, he, he. A lot of times you see guys kind of purposely slide down towards the beach or towards the island to, you know, have a slower line. But that time, Seth was so deep and far behind. A 15.5 or better. Dropping into this one, pulling Ooh. in. Ooh. Michelle Borez, second section there for the start. And he kicks out of a big one. Pulling Ooh. in. Ooh. Michelle Borez, and he kicks out of a thick one. Beautiful ride. His whole rail disengaged, and he went straight down. It continues with DeSouza. Controlled line and a lot of spit to shove him into the channel. Got to be diligent about every single moment out here. Andre Ooh. in a thick barrel, blows up a foam ball, hands behind the back again, and Jess and Andre is having a good time out there in heavy conditions. More waves setting up. Big ledgy takeoff for De Souza. He's strong arming that rail. He knew he was going to get the exit. You know, it's, we'll see if he can adjust. Now nine feet this section and pulling in. Great control after the spit for Seth Moniz. Who is having a blast in these conditions today. Kyo's turn. Slap to slide and he is somehow holding on to that rail. And he will just hoot himself out. He looks really comfortable. And Jack Freestone, no hand Jack. He's been dominating. Jack with priority. Trying to get the lead off Kyle Nabelli. And Nabelli takes this wave. Kyle locking in and getting a beautiful section to kick out of to celebrate. How committed they need to be to go on those waves. I mean, like, Ooh. this is heavy. This is... What a wave, <laughs> so much water, and it's so impressive. Oh, how <laughs> deep is that? No joke. 8.83 for this ride, Barton. Wow. Pumping conditions. Oh, how deep is that? Wow. So look at this, just late drop underneath it, slid. Oh, wow, Kaiko, hold the phone. Easily, in my opinion, the best wave so far in this heat. This should eclipse uh, set 6.67. That was a heavy drop. Look at this, just late drop underneath it, slid. Oh, wow, Kaiko, hold the phone. Easily the best wave so far in this heat. But 8.83. Jordy and Julian as we get caught up with Owen Rice last week. Wow, there's a reason why he claimed that barrel. 100%, there was a split second inside the barrel where Owen wasn't sure he was going to make it. And he went up and over the foam ball inside the barrel. Owen Wright pulls in. And celebrates the exit. Channel absolutely going crazy. This was Owens right behind the shot. Wow, also extremely committed, heavy late drop, and adding to it as Owen always does. Oh my God. As he is making another wave here at Chopo. And here, Adriana, look at this one. Super deep, super long. 8.7. Feel like that could have been uh, perhaps a little higher too from the positioning. Here we go, look at this one. Gets it super deep, just right where you need to be. That feels incredible, folks. That's when he's really been doing his best surfing. Late drop under the lip, pulls it high. 
so clean. The arms go behind the back. He could not have been any deeper on that one. He was on the phone ball at the start. Big mental challenge for him. He's really trying to, you know, rise to the occasion. And for him, this means potentially winning the world title. Because when you put him at the pool or in Europe, he's, you know, that's where he gets his swagger and he's, he's expected to win. But right here, you know, this could be the world title on the line. Only needed a 2-5. Next wave for Owens going to land on Chatty's head. Deep in the pit at Chokes. All right. Well, Owens just got an equalizer right there. Next wave for Owens going to land on Chatty's head. Deep in the pit at Chokes. All right. Well, Owen just got an equalizer right there on the foam ball. That water angle really shows it. That was just pedal to the metal. 9-0-7 and the lead for Owen Wright. Jadson's Woo! turn slides right into a bomb. Andre has the room to come free into the channel. A shootout between two <laughs> talented goofy foots that qualified together. Jack Freestone on another one. Realizes the second score will put a lot of pressure on Kelly Slater. Jack Freestone has Kelly Slater up against the ropes. Slater now needs an 8.9. Thought he may as well have a go and have a look, and he got a good score out of it. Owen right behind, though. Owen with a huge drive, super deep. Right. Can do no wrong in conditions like we have today at Chopo Tahiti. And celebrating each other's ride. This was what Jack did. No hand Jack did the same thing. So he's kind of showing off a little bit, but as a result, that pump. It pushed him out of the barrel really quick. If he would have grabbed rail and dragged his body parts from the start, he may have gotten a little more tube time. Jack Freestone's opening up his account against Kelly Slater. <laughs> and he likes it as well. No hands, pull straight in. That was a beautiful wave from Jack Freestone. Here we go. This, this is, is Griffin. Yeah, the one before it. Pulls up into the tube. Great travel time. Grabs the rail to make sure he gets out of there cleanly. And we have seen a oh, nice balance deep right there in the pocket. That was a really big wave, a big set wave. Here we go, super deep. This is the eight-point ride for Italo Ferreira on the replay. And that's where he turned the heat against Adrian De Souza. One more view here, Barton. So he doesn't even drop to the bottom. Gets mid-face and pumps. Comes out. I mean, it gets to that point. Here's Except another look at oh, Ferreira's ride. Late. Oh, just squeaked under that lip. Ended up high on the face as well. And then there's that double arm cutback. Beautiful. So then was chasing an 895. This is what oh. Owen did behind him. Owen's going to get the best wave of the heat for sure. We haven't seen any indications for the judges yet, but it's a big set, a bomb set, a leftover from yesterday. <laughs> Perfectly deep. Where does this one go, Joey? Watch this, BL. Drops it late. Oh, just under the lip. Oh, something uh -huh. close. We could see it. Super late, super deep. Spits and he comes out way after the spit. Ten, he says. I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe ten. Repeat of the matchup last oh. year. Owen wants payback from 2018. Launches himself into a Watch solid out. cavern. Yeah. Yeah. Comes flying out. There's the emotion from Owen Wright. Because he knows he was ultra deep on that left-hander. Owen wants payback from 2018. Yeah. A 9-1-7 for Owen Wright and the lead off Medina. Wow! Poetic retribution. Owen Wright snatched that title from Gabe Medina, just like Gabe did last year in 2018. Can't be happier, mate. I was, you know, I was against the ropes, and Gabby was always going to be the toughest matchup. And, geez, working hard. <laughs> Stoked to win. It's a massive win for Owen. He hasn't won since his first event back after the brain injury. This is the event you want to win for everyone. This is the event you want to win.